A new report by human rights investigators says that many members of the Nigerian police are more likely to commit crimes than prevent them. According to joint findings by observers in Nigeria and the U.S., police personnel routinely kill suspects, use torture as a principal means of investigation, commit rapes of both sexes, and engage in extortion at nearly every opportunity. The authors urged the new Nigerian president, Goodluck Jonathan, to make police reform a priority as he grapples with crime and corruption in Africa's most populous country. The study says extrajudicial killings and torture are widespread, citing a detainee in Lagos who said police killed 15 people in the station where he was held in custody for a week in 2006. It says, quote, The victims of such extrajudicial executions are often disposed of surreptitiously, sometimes in local waterways or mass unmarked graves. In one well-documented case in 2004 in Kaduna State, the police visited a cemetery late at night to bury truckloads of detainees they had executed. Okechukwu Nwanguma, program coordinator for the Network on Police Reform in Nigeria, which conducted the research, told The Guardian, quote, This shocking pattern of abuse calls into question the legitimacy of the entire Nigeria police force. If President Jonathan truly means to improve public safety, then he must pay greater attention to police reform than his predecessor. We need to see renewed commitment at all levels during this critical time of transition. 